How do you make a volatile business model less risky? That's been a difficult question for the dairy industry, which is always trying to balance the costs of feed and other inputs with the sometimes wild swings of milk prices. Climate change is making things even harder, as extreme weather, like the 2012 drought, can make feed like hay very expensive or even hard to find. But a growing number of farmers think they may have found a solution to the problem of dairy farming's inherent risks, even in the face of climate change. My name is Terry Ingram, and it's Thrail Cow Farm Dairy. It's a 100% grass, organic dairy. Terry Ingram is a member of the Organic Valley Cooperative, and he farms the land he grew up on in the Piedmont region of Virginia, about an hour and a half southwest of Washington, D.C. He believes that managed grazing and organic certification make the difference between surviving as a farmer or not. The foundations of consi- even considering farming, period, was because of the example uh, that grazing allowed a a family farm to operate uh, at a level that you can make a living. Grazing lends itself really well to organic agriculture because you're proving to yourself every day that the most efficient thing and the, the thing that we depend on most is the sun. It may sound simplistic, But in fact, the idea of fueling a farm's engine with the sun instead of with fossil fuel-based inputs is powerful when it comes to resiliency and financial stability. Fertilizer costs have been rising steadily for decades. They make up the bulk of hay production costs. Pesticides, most of which are eliminated in organic farming, make up the next largest share of hay costs. When you put together lower production costs and the higher milk prices organics premium market generates, it makes farming a sounder prospect, especially for young farmers. I think it'll eventually be the savior for for farming, period. If you look at the age, median age of farmers all across America, you're seeing older and older and younger people not getting into conventional farming. But if you look at specifically organic agriculture, It's a revolution going on. There are young people passionate and interested in farming. The number of organic farms in the U.S. has increased more than 140% since 2002. That's a good thing because organic agriculture may play a key role in farmers' ability to weather climate change by reducing greenhouse gas emissions and by better withstanding droughts and floods. If every farm went organic, we'd see farming's overall emissions drop by 20% without yield losses. That's according to a UN study. Ingram has begun to see these benefits already on his farm. There's more extreme weather now. I mean, we have tremendous thunderstorms in the summertime, and then we'll go periods of you know, very, very dry weather. It's, I mean, it has to be pretty droughty for me not to have something green for the cows to eat. I mean, there's times where I'm wondering when it's going to rain because I know I'm going to get a big explosion of growth, but generally I've always got a little bit of feed in front of them, and I'm not having to supplement because of that. To get more farmers to adopt practices that can decrease the volatility of farming, both in the field and on farmers' balance sheets, Ingram says we'll need cooperation and optimism. I uh, have found that you really don't have any alternative but be optimistic when you're a farmer (laughs) because it's a very humbling career but being humbled is a very good thing because you only gain wisdom if you have humility that's that's for sure and it's very easy to sound like you're condemning farmers that farm conventionally when you talk when you oppose the the status quo the system that's out there and and i certainly don't want to sound like that and i certainly see conventional farmers as much of as much as comrades as I would an organic farmer. Policy changes are critical if we want more organic agriculture. We need to eliminate penalties for organic farmers who want crop insurance and to devote more funding to research on diverse organic production systems. We also must start thinking beyond the five-year farm bill cycle toward policies that encourage success and longevity for farmers of all types. 